Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release, which is the build 22,000.918. This build is the C release for the month of August. So for those of you who don't know, the C releases are builds that implement and introduce new features and also new improvements to the Windows 11 operating system for the main release. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about briefly what is new, what is fixed, what is changed and so on in this build. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all microsoft addressed an issue related to usb printing that might cause your printer to malfunction after you restart it or reinstall it they also addressed an issue that prevents windows 11 se from trusting some microsoft store applications this might prevent you from downloading the untrusted app they also addressed an issue that might cause certain bluetooth audio headsets to stop playing after a progress bar adjustment. And also, they addressed a known issue that causes Microsoft Edge to stop responding when you use IE mode or Internet Explorer mode. This issue also prevents you from interacting with the dialog. This build also gives IT admins the ability to remotely add languages and language-related features. Additionally, they can now manage language scenarios across several endpoint managers. Microsoft also enhances Microsoft Defender for endpoints' ability to identify and intercept ransomware and advanced attacks. This is also something really nice. They also addressed an issue that affect the automatic high dynamic range auto HDR feature for cross adapter resource scan out capable GPU drivers. They also addressed an issue that stops non Windows devices from authenticating. This issue occurs when they connect to Windows based remote desktop and use a smart card to authenticate. They also addressed an issue that causes the settings app to stop working on a server domain controllers when accessing the privacy and access activity history page. They also address an issue that prevents devices from receiving an offer from Windows Update for the same extension driver when that extension driver is already installed without the base driver. These are pretty much the highlights for this Windows 11 build for the main release, but you can check out other fixes and other improvements that are not so significant in my opinion in the article below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBased, until next time, have a nice day.